Well, Dennis, what's it been like for you as a dad and a minister seeing your own son go through all this? Well, you know, I guess you begin as a dad, and yet if you're a minister, you're a minister. If you're a plumber, you're a plumber, and whatever, you bring everything together on top of the fact that you're a dad. When it first began, you know, you sometimes have an automatic sense of guilt as a parent. You know, like, what did I do wrong? What, what should I have done? I should have been tougher here or softer here. I should have been more disciplined. I should have, you know, you just wonder, what did I do? And finally, as you go through some of these things, you finally realize that, you know, Adam and Eve had a perfect father in a perfect world, but they had a mind of their own. And our kids do have a mind of their own, and I realize that. But you always feel a responsibility I for know. your children. But I guess the greatest thing I felt for them was I felt... Uh, you know, I hurt for him because uh, I have somewhat of an ADD, you know, ADHD kind of thing growing up, and Dusty did as well. And sometimes you feel like, well, I passed that on to him. You know, he got that from me. And so you have all kinds of false guilt and what have you. And Satan wants to always sort of do the blame right. game with you and uh, wants to rob you of being an effective dad and a loving dad and an encouraging dad. Uh, so as I dealt with that, then quick, finally, quickly, I realized I need to be an encourager to him. I need to let him find his way. I need to appreciate how much he does struggle, uh, try to understand what he's going through. So part of my recovery and help was to you know, going through your material and learning what alcoholism is, what addiction is, and what it's all about so I could have a better appreciation of what he is dealing with every single day of his life. Right. What he feels like, what, what is it doing to him chemically, physically, mentally, spiritually. Right. And when I, when I learn all that, I realize, man, he's, a, he's my hero. That's a tough disease. It's a very tough He's disease. He's my to hero beat. to to live each day uh, in victory. That's right. And and all that he does to enable him that God has given him to live in victory. I'm so proud of him. I want to help him pass that on to others. What he has discovered, you know, the, like the material he knows from you that he's learned you know, in other places as well. Uh, I want people to have av access to that so that they don't have to, you know, struggle with this, you know, when they're 30 or 40 or 50 or 60, uh, whatever age they're at now, deal with it now. Because it'll only get worse. It's just going to get worse. It's, that's guaranteed. That's you know. known in, in the medical field that, that, that if you don't stop addiction now, it will be worse next year and the next right. and the next. I want them to be able to enjoy life and I want to encourage them to do so. So what Dusty has done for me in the midst of his world and letting me in in his world is a greater understanding so I can encourage him and others like him. Encourage you. And that's what I want to do. And that's what I think that's why we're doing Begin Recovery. Yes. To help you. Absolutely.